What is up beautiful people? I live here in China and I pre-ordered a Neo EC6 instead of a Tesla. If you want to know why, I have a video explaining five reasons why I chose a Neo over a Tesla. Now, in this video, I'm going to share with you my stock price prediction for Neo, and I'm going to share with you two facts that will completely blow your mind. All right, let's get into it. Now, to start off with fact number one, we have to have a little bit of background information. Now, everybody knows about Tesla, all right? Now, that's the same here in China. Everybody knows about Tesla. Tesla is pretty much synonymous with BMW, Mercedes. You ask them, what is electric car brand here in China? They, they would say Mercedes, BMW, and Tesla. Everybody knows about Tesla, but not everybody knows about NIO. Now, here's the, the mind-blowing fact. Every single NIO customer, everyone that bought a NIO car knows about Tesla. They probably test drove a Tesla, they test drove a Tes uh, NIO, and decided that NIO was the better car. Now, you see this all over NIO's social media app. Now, if you did, didn't know already, NIO's app is also a social media platform. I have a video explaining that. Now, I'm going to share with you some articles. You know, people refunding their Teslas for NIO. All right, here we got one article of someone that refunds their Tesla for a ES6. We got a guy that refunded their Tesla three times, all right? Uh, refunded Model Y, Model 3, another Model 3, and then refunded a Model Y for a ES6. And then we got another guy over here that sold his Tesla to upgrade to a ES8. Notice how he said upgrade. That implies that Neo is a better car than Tesla. Now, I, I, I should have uh, put this beforehand that I'm uh, actually also sort of an investor myself, and I do have a position in Neo and Tesla. So don't don't go around calling me a Tesla bear or I'm a Tesla basher. That's not the case. All right, I'm I'm just here sharing this information that you guys probably didn't know about. Now. So, every single NEO owner knows about Tesla and decided that NEO's car is better. That is the, the most mind-blowing fact about NEO right now. And on the flip side, you got to understand that not every Tesla owner knows about NEO, all right? I was, I was at the NEO house one day and um, I, was, I was checking out the e, uh, EC6. And uh, and these these this couple walks in, and uh, the salesperson was just talking to them, and they were asking about do you know about Neo, and then uh, they said no we don't know about Neo but we do know about Tesla. And the salesperson showed around uh, showed them around the the car, what it can do, the capabilities and everything, and they were just totally impressed. So you got to understand that. If and when Neo reaches, you know, a point where everybody knows about Neo and everybody knows about Tesla, and they do this kind of A and B comparison, you know, a lot of customers will decide that Neo is actually a better car. You know, even Neo CEO himself, he said that you know we don't do any advertising; uh, our cars speak for themselves. In fact, a lot of Neo's customers are previous Tesla owners, like the guy that refunded, that sold his Tesla Model 3 to upgrade to ES8. So that's pretty, that's a mind blowing fact. So keep that in mind, my friend. Mind blowing fact number two, customer, customers are advertising for Neo for free, all right? This isn't like your normal social media posts out there like, hey, I bought a Tesla Model 3, I bought a Tesla Model S, check me out. Yeah, here's my link in the referral. Go check that out. Go get yourself a Tesla. Nah, it ain't that, man. We got these loyal Neo customers that are putting on these big advertising billboards for Neo for free. 
You got these big ballers out there, man. These guys, they own the whole damn building. And they have these advertisements placard on the side of the building. Holy smokes, man. You also got this one dude who's who owns the damn train, train station, man. He owns... Uh, I'm pretty sure he doesn't own the train station, but he probably has some influence at the train station. And he has Neo's advertisement over there. Now, Neo doesn't pay anything for these guys, right? They just love Neo so much that they want to advertise for Neo, which is just mind blowing. You see this all over the place. Man, that is just completely mind blowing. They would go out of their way to advertise for Neo for free. Now, a part of that is that they do have a little bit of incentive because if they share their own unique QR code and invite other people to test drive Neo and ultimately those guys decide to buy Neo, what happens is uh, they get 1,000, uh, 12,000 Neo points, which is Neo's own currency. Now, if you don't know about Neo's own currency, go check out this video over here. It explains Neo's e-commerce store and Neo's own currency. Really good video. You should check that out. So they get that those points and they can use it to purchase other stuff on their e-commerce store. Uh, go to Neo House, order a drink, etc., etc. So, man, they do have a little bit of incentive, but that is just mind blowing. Now, I want to address something. I want to address Neo's cash burn because. A lot of investors, they, they look at Neo's uh, cash burn, they look at their expenses, they're, they're constantly losing money, which is a fact, but you really should think of this as R&D money, R&D research money. And it's a tremendous amount of money that they're putting into R&D. Now, this would, you know, put a lot of investors off. They think, oh my God, this company has a lot of expenses, man. They're not earning a profit. Now, I actually talked to one of the Neo salesperson about this, and I, I chatted with him in person extensively about Neo. I, I asked him, "Hey, why, how, like, how come you guys burn so much cash?" And and he told me one thing that that was very, you know, that just blew me away. He he told me Neo started off ten years later than Tesla. You know, there's a lot of catching up to do. There's 10 years of research and develop time that Neo doesn't have, that Neo has to catch up on. Now, what we can do is we can, you know, spend 10 more years, but that would put us behind Tesla. So the only thing that Neo can do is put a lot of money into research and development to catch up and even beat Tesla. So that's what they're doing putting a lot of money into research and development to surpass, to catch up on that lost time. So that's just, that explains the whole cash burn situation. So for all those new investors watching this video, don't be afraid of cash burn, my friend. They're gonna have cash burn, but they're also gonna have increasing uh, revenue. So don't worry about that. Now. Will they offer more stock? Will they do more dilution? I believe they will, but that doesn't concern me because they will need that cash for expansion purposes because Neo's whole operating uh, operating expenses is pretty high, especially like uh, those new houses. Like I have a video about new house. You should go check that out. Now those new houses are located in prime spots, man. They're located like right in the center of the city where real estate is super expensive, rent is super expensive, but then, but they gotta put their comp their new house smack right there so that everybody knows that, man, we are the apple of China. Yeah, they are indeed the apple of China. So, yeah, they have a lot of expenses, but you shouldn't be concerned about that. Mm. So, with everything that I've said in mind, where do I see Neo? Neo stock price. Now, I firmly believe that Neo would eventually get to $280 a share. $280 a share. Why? Because I believe Neo will surpass Tesla's market cap one day. Because because of all the aforementioned reasons, you know, 
people don't know about Neo that much. People, people in North America can't even buy Neo. People in Europe can't even buy Neo. Even a lot of people in China don't even know about Neo yet. So when Neo becomes well known and everybody knows about Neo, everybody knows about Tesla already, and they do a side by side comparison, I think the picture will become very clear that Neo is actually the better choice for the consumer. So, with that in mind, in about five years, where will Neo be? I believe in five years they will have fully expanded into Europe, into North America, uh, probably into other parts of Asia as well. So, by that time, you'll see Neo all over the place. You'll have new houses probably in North America and Europe as well. So that will be just absolutely amazing. And by then, man, who knows? Neo might even be a one trillion dollar company, man. So, Neo, my friend. Can't wait to get my car. All right. Let me know in the comments down below. Where do you think Neo will be in a year or two years? Now, my $280 price prediction is for five years out, all right? Who knows in the middle, they might take a little dip, but I do firmly believe that if you hold for five years, you'll see new stock price go up to 280. All right, thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next video. Peace out, man.